Today's topic is mucus in stool. Mucus is a thick, sticky, jelly-like substance that protects and lubricates your delicate tissues and organs, such as the colon. Mucus in the body plays a major role in how the body works. It is used to lessen the damage that may be caused by bacteria, viruses, or fungi as well as protect against stomach acid or other harmful fluids or irritants. A small amount of mucus in stool is usually nothing to worry about. In a healthy person, mucus is clear and thin, which is why it is often not noticeable. An increased amount of mucus in stool may result from diet, illness, or environmental factors. Mucus can even change in color. You should talk to a health practitioner if you notice an increased amount of mucus in your stool, especially if the mucus is bloody or accompanied by abdominal pain. This may occur due to more serious conditions such as ulcerative colitis and even cancer. Causes Crohn's disease Cystic fibrosis Irritable bowel syndrome Ulcerative colitis Intestinal fibrosis Intestinal infection, a bacterial infection such as salmonella, shigellosis, yersinia, and campylobacter, which are often the cause of food poisoning and other infections, malabsorption issues, parasitic infection, anal fissures and ulcers, colon or rectal cancer, anal fistula, food allergies such as those associated with nuts lactose, dehydration and constipation, bowel obstruction, rectal ulcers, cancer. Symptoms Excess mucus in the stool is often accompanied by blood or pus in the stool, changes in the bowel movements or habits, abdominal pain, bloating, sudden changes in stool color. Diagnosis and Treatment the diagnosis will start with a physical exam and a stool sample test. The sample of the stool will be tested to detect parasites, bacteria, and other illnesses. However, in some cases, after a physical examination, a blood test may be requested before a stool sample is taken. This process makes it easier to detect what is going on. If any other information is needed, the doctor may request you undergo a colonoscopy endoscopy, or a CT scan. This may be necessary to diagnose and treat the problem correctly. For some people, a diagnosis may be reached faster, while in some, the underlying cause may be detected after undergoing several rounds of testing and examination. Treatment The doctor will need to treat any underlying condition causing the condition. Prescription medications and necessary treatment may be needed for people with chronic conditions such as ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease, irritable bowel syndrome, and cystic fibrosis. Anal fissures and anal fistulas may be treated with medications and possible surgical procedures. People with cancer will be referred to a specialist who will treat cancer. This treatment will relieve and ease symptoms. For some people, lifestyle changes may resolve the issue. Changes such as increasing fluid intake, eating foods rich in probiotics or supplements that contain probiotics, such as lactobacillus, getting a combination of healthy balance of carbohydrates, fiber, and fat in the diet, consuming anti-inflammatory foods, such as non-spicy foods, it is important to speak to a doctor or pharmacist before taking any medication. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.